Now, to correctly create the uh, borderline for our title block using the uh, dynamic input and the absolute value entry, let's first uh, zoom in a little to our initial rectangle. Okay? And let's invoke again AutoCAD to do rectangle command. So, type REC and then enter. For the first point, of course, it must be 10 from x and then comma and then 10 from y so 10 and then enter for the second point in order to correctly input absolute value in the dynamic input you must precede the coordinate with the uh, number sign example number 410 and then comma 287 okay so shift and then hash or number and then 4 10 comma and then 287 enter and this time the borderline is correctly plotted by AutoCAD using dynamic input and absolute value entry and now let's uh, delete first the other clutters so press escape first to unselect the uh, borderline and we can do here at least two types of selection, okay? So, first is window selection. From the upper part of your drawing area, I'll click and then drag, release, okay? Click, release, and then drag to create a blue window. So, this is uh, considered window selection, okay? So, escape. I repeat, window selection is from left. And then towards the right. Okay? So, click, release, and then drag, and then click. So, window selection will select objects within the window. So, those objects that are not bounded by the window cannot be selected. So, when I cover them totally, the objects will be selected as shown when they are highlighted. So, this is a uh, window uh, selection. Another type of selection is the window crossing selection. This time, in the reverse. Okay? So, from the right, so click, release again, and then drag towards the left, creating a green window. So, anything that crosses, it crosses, I mean, the green window crosses will be selected. So, every object that the green window uh, crosses will be selected. Uh, for me, I'll be using them interchangeably in different situations. Okay? So, for faster selection, I'll use a window crossing. And just to select a specific object, I'll use window selection. For faster selection, I'll always use window crossing. So, window crossing, window crossing, it's faster than uh, pinpointing and then clicking the object. So, window crossing or just clicking it, it's the same. Uh, much faster for me to window cross selection. Again, window selection from left to right, it needs to cover the object in order for it to be selected. Okay? For window crossing selection from right, to left, anything that uh, it crosses will be selected. So, those are the two uh, types of selection. Uh, we have other selection types, but uh, we will not be covering them because these are the most convenient way to select them. Okay? So, when your other geometries are selected, just type E and then enter to erase them. And then, of course, uh, do a superman command to quickly save your drawings. So, we are now ready to create our title block. And let's uh, zoom in a little so that we could uh, see the extent of our borderline. And let's select the borderline and then right click to open its object properties. So, currently it is uh, named as a polyline. And for now, I want you to explode this polyline and uh, break it into four lines. Okay, so type X on your keyboards. So X, 
to explode and then enter. So what happened is that the polyline was broken into 1, 2, 3, 4 lines. And I'll be using them to create my title block. Now I will zoom in again a little more into the lower right corner. And let's look back at our reference. So the title block is 7 centimeters long and 2 centimeters high. So that's 70 mm and 20 mm. So let's go back to AutoCAD. And let's delineate the length first. So I will be using this. So I'll select this borderline and then type O. So O on my keyboard to offset it to the length of the title block. Okay, so O, enter. And then it asks me to specify the offset distance. So I'll type 70, of course. 70 mm for the offset. And then enter. The object highlights in blue and then the object will be indicated to where it will be offset depending on the location of your cursor in relation to the object so to the right of the object or to the left of course we need it to the left of the object and then click and then select object to offset again uh, for this time uh, no so press escape or just click exit here okay but faster is to just press escape on your keyboards now for the height of the object let's re-invoke AutoCAD to do again the uh, offset command so just press enter or spacebar and then it will ask you again for the offset distance of course the height is 20 mm so 20 and then enter and we'll be using the lower borderline as our uh, reference object so select reference object then offset it towards the upper part okay so i'll click on the upper part in relation to the object and then it was offset already with 20 mm distance then press escape again to exit the command 